Hello everyone. In this video, I will elaborate on those features of IOCEL property management system, which are relevant for front desk operations. So the first is the stay view. So we can see the name of the property here. And these are the different room numbers along with the status of each of these rooms. So the broom sign indicates that this room number is dirty, whereas this sign indicates that this room number is clean. We can see how many rooms are occupied for the same day, how many rooms are available for the same day, how many rooms are on a complementary basis, and finally, how many rooms are under maintenance or out of order. Now, those hotels who are using IOCEL property management system along with IOCEL channel manager, all the bookings which come through online travel portals such as Expedia, Booking.com, GoMMT will automatically flow into IOCEL property management system. And this they will show up in a bubble like this. So the receptionist needs to just go and click on the bubble for the same day. They will be able to see the arrivals, the source of the booking. And the first step is to assign these arrivals a clean room. So they just need to click on assign and then select on a clean room. It will prompt whether we would like to assign this guest to this particular room number. And when we click on assign, this guest will be assigned to that room number. Now, all these guests will be color coded. So the guests who are assigned a room will show up in pink color. All the guests who are already in house will show in light green color. The guests who are due to check out on the same day will show up in red color. The dark green are the guests who have already checked out. And finally, the gray color are the rooms which are under maintenance or out of order. Now the next step is to show a check-in. So we just click on the guest who has arrived. We will be able to see all the details and we can see various options here. So for example, we can see edit, delete, unassign, and the last option is to show a check-in. So once we show a check-in, just by a click of this button, the guest will be shown a check-in in, in that room number. Now, the next step is to edit the guest details. So we just click on the name of the guest. We can see an edit option. When the receptionist clicks on edit, they will be able to edit whether it is the booking details, such as if you want to edit the checkout date, the room type, or maybe the payment mode, or the guest details. So in case the receptions needs to feed the address, any special request or upload a photo ID, this is the option where they can go ahead and do that. One thing to note is if the guest has already stayed in the past, the receptionist can search either by the email address or the phone number. And if they've stayed in the past, all the details, including the photo ID, will automatically populate in the screen. Now, after the check-in is already done, and when the guest consumes any service during his stay, the receptionist can just click on the guest name, and they can see an option called Add Service. Once they click on that, they can add any services. So whether it's room service, we just select whatever the guest has consumed and continue to press Submit. And these services will keep on getting added in the guest invoice. If the guest has given any payments, then we have an option called add payment. We can just click on that. We have all the different modes of payment here, including you can scan a QR code. And as the guest makes any payment, we can even add any comment or we can upload any file. And these payments will keep on getting added to the guest invoice. Now, in case during the stay, the guest wants to view an invoice, they can always do that from here. So while his stay is ongoing, they will be able to see a pro forma invoice such as this. So they will be able to see all the details of the guest, the room charges, uh, and all the services that the guest consumes, along with any payments if the guest has made. 
and the tax summary. Now, once the guest is shown a checkout, this performer invoice will then change to an invoice and will have an invoice number. Now, the guest will only be able to check out or the receptionist can show a checkout only when the balance is shown as zero. So the system does not allow the receptionist to show a checkout until and unless the balance is zero. And once this is zero, all that the receptionist needs to do is press on checkout and the checkout will be shown in the system. So this is exactly how a check-in, a checkout, any services are added, any payments are added, or any, addition, any uh, details are edited by the reception staff. Now, the next step is to create a walk-in booking. So in case there is a walk-in booking, the first step is to code them a rate. So in the same screen, right at the bottom, the receptionist can clearly see how many rooms are available, how many rooms are occupied, and finally, the bar rate. Now, this is the rate which is actually coming from ISL Revenue Management System, which is along with our channel manager. Now, if this rate is changing in the OTAs and online travel portals and the website, the bar rate will also change in the screen. So the, the front associate does not have to shift from one screen to the other. They can just scroll down in the same screen and quote the rate to the walk-in customer. Now, creation of walk-in booking is also from the stay view. They just have to go and click on this button and they will be directed to where a new reservation can be created. And that is very simple. They just select the check-in date, the checkout date, the room type, what is the rate plan, uh, what is the business segment, what will be the billing, what is the payment mode, while the rate will automatically come from the revenue management or the pricing system of ISL, the receptionist can always override by whatever rate they have offered to the guest. And they can feed in the guest details. As I mentioned, they can search either by the email ID or phone number. And in case the guest has stayed in the past, all his details, including his photo ID, will automatically populate in the system. And this is how a walk-in booking can be created by the front desk associate. The next step is to maintain a cash register. So that can be done from here. We just click on the dollar sign. So all the cash payments that is taken for a checkout will automatically appear in the screen. Any expenses in terms of petty cash, et cetera, can be added from here in add expenses option. Any deposit made in cash can be added from here. And all the cash transactions will show up in this cash register. And finally, whatever is the balance at the end of the day gets carried forward for the next day. So this is like a cash register for the front desk team. So this is the stay view, which is where the front desk team can actually show a check-in, check-out, they can just drag and drop in case they need to transfer a room. Uh, the other view that I would like to show you is called the rooms view. So this is exactly, it's quite similar to uh, what a stay view can do, except that all the room numbers will show up under different room categories. And even from the screen, the front desk team can show a check-in, they can show a checkout, they can change the room status from dirty to clean. So there are some properties who prefer to do the check-in, check-out from this screen. They can also create a walk-in book-in or they can maintain a cash register from the screen. So these are the two screens which are primarily used by the front desk operations team. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.